सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड आई नो आई हैव नॉट पोस्टेड इन अ लॉन्ग 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 वाइल सो नाउ आई हैव बॉट यू दिस वीडियो व्हिच विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ यू बिकॉज़ यू वांट टू मेक टॉप बार आइकॉन्स इन योर गेम एंड यू डोंट नो हाउ इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू लाइन अप द जीयूआई विद द टॉप बार वेयर यू सी द रोब्लॉक्स आइकॉन इन द चैट एंड ऑल यू वांट टू मेक आइकॉन्स लाइक दैट ऑन द टॉप बार सो लॉट ऑफ यू इवन इंक्लूडिंग मी keep looking for this kind of video so i have bought this video so it will be helpful for you i'm sure so there is top bar plus a module named top bar plus which is quite hard so i have found a easy module which will which is very easy so you can uh, make top bar icons easily bet and it's not like it's not better than the top bar plus but you get decent icons over here so this is custom top bar buttons module by this group right here so as you can see so shout out to this group for making the module this guy right here who made the module and gave the owner as this group so shout out to that group you can go ahead and get this module i'll give the link in the description so you can go ahead and get the module and make your own top bar icons now i'll tell you how to make it so keep watching the video to know how to make the top bar icons icons to uh make your game look more better and all that this could be us so back to what i was saying this could be us now we what we're going to do ahead do is i'm going to tell you how you can use this module and make top bar icons so first we'll switch to roblox studio first real quick and i have the module right here this is the module it's named top bar module in when you add it into your game so if you open this module right now you will see some functions and all that and i'll explain each and everything in detail so you will know what is what and what what you're supposed to do now we can make drop down uh, top bar icons too but i don't know why it is not working it's not working top bar uh, the drop down icons are not working but normal icons are working so now if you want to make an icon first thing what you need to do is take this top bar module and put it into replicated storage it is supposed to be there in the replicated storage so you can make your top bar icon now the main thing is how do you make it so on the client side in start a gui you can go ahead and insert a local script so now to keep it more organized you can make a folder named client side client scripts and then you can put some scripts in it i prefer uh, starter gui but you may prefer uh, startup player going to startup player and then start, uh, what is it called i'll talk i'll talk about this later so once you put the module into replicated storage and you go ahead and insert a script a local script into the starter gui so here we go insert a local script now we need to require that module by making a variable so i'll make a variable named um top bar and what i'm going to do after making that variable is i'm going to require game dot replicated storage dot top bar module so you're going to require require that module in the variable whatever you want to call it once you require it i'll show you how you can make the button So you go ahead and do top bar, or whatever you have named the variable. You do colon add. Now once you add it, you are going to give a name to the button. So the name I'll just keep it as test. Okay, I'll just keep it as test, and I'm going to go ahead and give an image. So I use a plugin for image for the images. So it's somewhere right here. I use a plugin to get nice icons. it's a very nice plugin what i found it's material icons icons um, you may say so i will go ahead and search for an icon for this like um which icon should i keep it i'll just keep it as this one i'll keep it as this i will click on this one i will do insert you can either insert that or you can set it now what i want to get a url of that uh, image so i'm going to insert that image and i'm going to go ahead and go to image and i'm going to get the url 
so now what you do after giving the name for the button as whatever you want to give i have just given a test make a string and paste the image url into that so that will be the image for your button on top right there so then you do comma and it says left now what is left now if you you have to write if you want the button to be on the left side over here then you write it uh, you write true over there okay and if you want it to be on the right side over here next to the inventory and all that then you can keep it as false so it will go on the right side but i want it on the left i'll even show you uh, how it is going to be on the left and right so i'm going to set it this to, to set this to true now if the button was successfully created it's going to return the button to us so that's why you can put this into a variable called anything what you whatever you want to call it i'm going to call it button and now i'm going to basically i'm now i'm just going to show you how the button will look after that i'm going to show you how to make it so you can detect when the button is clicked and then you can do something when it's clicked okay so i'm going to go go ahead and hit play so i can play the game obviously so let's wait for it to load and also even i have some plugins i have i'm working on a nice plugin that will be very helpful to you and uh, it's not it's not released yet but i'll soon release it after its most important things are made i feel the plugin is not ready but we have some features into it but we're going to add more features and then we're going to release the plugin so you may want to wait for it and you may want to subscribe so you can come to know when the plugin plugin is released okay so while the game loads let's wait a little more yep it's in take a little time it's going take a while to load so the game should be loaded and there we go as you can see the stop bar button is created as the icon we wanted and the button successfully created now i'll show you how you can make the same button on the right side next to this button right here so now to do that as i told you you need to in the end for left you keep it as true but you want to keep that as false if you want it to go towards the right side now i'm going to change this to false now once i change it to false over here that button what was on the left over here will come on the right side over here so let me really quick real quick real quick show you that the button actually comes on the right side so here we go we load into the game and you should see the button right here on the right side as you can see from instead of the left it has come on the right now if you click on it nothing really happens so what you want to do is you want to make a function to detect when it's clicked now normally when you make a button is going to if it was successful it's going to return the button so we can get the button returned into this variable so now you're going to do button dot mouse button one click mouse button one click means the left button if you do mouse button two click means the right button but now the right mouse button and the left mouse button one is for left mouse button and then two is for right mouse button so i'm going to do one click and i'm going to do connect and i'm going to connect a function to it like a normal button how you make a normal button so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it print hello world so now when i click that top bar button it's going to print hello world now it doesn't matter if it's on the left or on the right it's going to do the same function whatever you have told it to do now i'm going to go ahead and open the output real quick now don't worry about this error it's from this this plugin right here i've i've denied the script injection i think i yeah this for safety i've denied the script injection so let's let the game load and now as you see i have ch i have changed that from false to true so it's come on the left over here now i'll just clear the output so you do, there's no confusion now as i go ahead and click on this it's going to print hello world as we told it to do so so the more i click on it it'll print hello world now you may see it's not printing hello world one below the other because it's the same thing that is being printed on the same line so it's doing into 12 
So as you can see, this number over here will increase the more times I click the button. Now I'll show you if you want to hide the button. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it so if you click the button, it'll be it'll hide. So I'm going to do top bar colon hide, and I have to give the button name. Now as I've named this button test, I'm going to give the same name right here. I'm going to give the name test. So when I click that button, it's going to hide the button named test. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do play and let's wait for the game to load. Now, by, by the way, if you like this video and if it was helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and even hit the like button so I get motivated and you get more content. So now if you click on this button, it should go away, but it should still stay there, but it should just hide. It should just be hidden. So let me try clicking the button and it has been hidden so as i clicked on the button it is hidden now what if i want to make it so that i now what if i want to show that button again so what i'm going to do i'll just add a wait so you see it so i'm just going to add a three second wait and i'm going to do top bar colon show and then the button name as test because i've given the button name as test so now what it will do is it will basically hide the button when I click that and then after 3 seconds it is going to make the button visible again. So I will be able to see the button again. So now let's go ahead and play again and let's see if that works or no. So here we go and now what will happen when I click that button it should go and hide and when I uh, after 3 seconds it should be visible again. So let's click it. Yeah it's hidden. Now after 3 seconds it should be visible again. As you can see when I click this 1, 2, 3, boom it should come back. Yeah there it is. So that's how you can make the button, how you can create a button, how you can hide the button at times and how you can make the button visible again. Now if you create more buttons like if I just go ahead and copy this real quick. If I go ahead and copy this and name it um, button 2 and I name it, if I name it the same it's going to give an error so I'm going to name this test 2 with the same icon and if I go ahead and play the game it should make a new button right next to the next to button 1 it should make a new button called button 2 let's see if it does so so as you can see both the buttons have loaded one beside the other now if I want to move one of this on the right and keep one on the left, I can do it. So what I'm going to do, this button right here, button 2, I'm going to move it to, move it to the left, uh, to the right. So I'm going to make this as false to put it on the right. So now let's play the game and let's see if it is working perfectly or no. It should work because I've tried it earlier and I'm showing it to you now. So as you can see, one is on the left and one is on the right. Bo the button 2 will not do anything because I have not coded anything for it. I have just done it for button 1 and nothing for button 2. But if I do it for button 1, it should run the code as hiding it and then making the button visible again after 3 seconds. So this is how you create buttons, hide buttons and show buttons. Now if you want to delete one of those buttons. So now what I am going to do is I am going to make the, a function for button 2. And I'm going to do dot mouse button one click connect function. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'm if I, I want to make it so that when I click the button two, which is on the right side, it will just get deleted from there. Not hidden. Not it will not be hidden, but it will just get deleted. So you the hide and show if you delete a button the show function will not make it visible again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do top bar colon remove which will just remove the button just delete the button so i'm going to name as it's as uh it's test 2 i'm going to name it test 2 as i want to remove the test 2 button and not any other button like test 1 or anything so now let's check out if the script is working perfectly or no if everything is working fine or no so once the game loads, I'll just do the left one also. So the one on the left, if I click it, it should get hidden and then after 3 seconds it should pop back. It should pop up back. Now if I click the right one over here, it should just 
it should just get destroyed it should just get removed and now you can't click whatever if you even if you click over here nothing is going to happen because the button is just removed from the top top bar even i want to show you one more thing which is you might be interested in that if i go ahead and do this one second let me show you so if i go ahead and click on the roblox icon on the left over here which is for leave and all that you miss you see the like how the chat button disappears when you click on this the other buttons like the buttons we created also disappear from the top over here as i click on the cross they come back so that's also a feature to make it look like a top bar button an actual top bar button so now you may know how it is how everything works now change image will just change the button's image you need to give the button's name and then the button's image uh, url to change the button's image now if you want to do get amount you can like an add a notification badge to get amount to see how much how many notifications does the button have set amount will set the uh, amount to a perfect number add amount will add up a, num a number to it remove amount will remove a notification uh, amount by one by one by down and now if you do config button now what is config button now if you want to change some like properties of the button you can go ahead and put another comma after the after true and put a table so i'll leave a link to the uh, dev form post of related to this plugin so you can go ahead and uh, read through that and see what all functions the, the, does do they have now i'm not going to show the drop down button yet if that is fixed then i'm going to show uh, it in the in the next video so i will need to find that dev form post i remember having it somewhere but i'll need to find that dev form post so you might see that the link to the dev form post is a little delayed in the description but the link to this plugin obviously uh, to the module will obviously be given in the description this will be the link that will be given in the description so you can go ahead and get the module from there now i may just want to tell you that please subscribe i am not telling you to subscribe for no reason you if you want more videos like this you want to do more stuff in studio and all that and you want to know how top bars are made and a lot of other stuff is done drop downs and all that i am making videos for all of these so you can subscribe to the channel to get notified hit that bell so you get notified for my each new video even like the video to, for giving motiv if you, for giving me motiva uh, motivation and use some new notifications on youtube related to my videos so i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye this could be us so back to what i was saying this could be us